teach me on the inside part and call my name. Uh, I, I don't usually partake, but uh, we can do that. Yo, what's good, what's good, what's good, y'all? This your homie, your VA homie, Killer Watts, 804, your favorite up and coming YouTuber. Yo, if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna keep dropping these bangers, man. If you're already here, man, thank you for staying with me. Thank you for enjoying my content, or looking at my content. Y'all, let's keep going, man. Let's go down this road, man. Right now, today, I wanted to do another classic movie review. But look, it came out in 1998. It's based on a novel by Toni Morrison. It stars Oprah Winfrey as Seti, Kimberly Elise as Denver, Bondi Wee Newton as Beloved, Danny Glover as Paul D. You know, back then when I watched it, I was a youngin', so, you know, some things don't hit me, probably didn't hit me like it hit me now. I barely remember this movie. I remember bits and pieces, so I was, I'm glad I went back. Now being who I am with the wisdom that I got, spurs I got, Oh, this show hit me a whole different level, man. This show was in jeans. I love this goddamn movie. Okay, in Beloved, we, we joined up with Seth, the character Setta. Um, uh, interesting name. Uh, she's a young African-American woman in the, I say, late 1800s, definitely post-Civil War, uh, who's learning, who's struggling with just trying to, trying to live a decent life. She overcame a lot in while she was enslaved, and um, she ran away for her freedom in this, in this movie. Ultimately, cutting herself out a, a pretty a pretty a pretty i can say it's, it's not a happy life it's something it was better than before that's what i would say i know at the beginning of the movie she has she has two sons and she has a daughter we come in the door and the damn their dog is spinning in the air <laughs> just spinning and the boys are freaking out the two boys she has is freaking out man i'm like what the hell man it's been a while since i've seen it and it's like it's obvious there's a supernatural creature there man they can't take no more they bonk out you know what i'm saying denver she's calling out for him to stay but the boys gotta go they like they're old enough they gotta leave they can't take it no more so this is so we're getting the impression that this has been an issue for a while a little later in the movie paul d is played by uh danny glove uh he comes into the picture he's the old acquaintance of setup he he walks up on him looks like he's been through a lot but he come there to see how she's doing and this and that and off the bat he's already he's a good character he's a decent dude and he kind of make his intentions known that he he really he interested in hooking back up with Seth. I don't even know if they ever was together before, you know, but they do have history. Now both come from this place called Sweet Home. It's a farm in Kentucky ran by some uh, horrific goddamn slave owners, man. It took them through hell. You know what I'm saying? That's the impression I'm getting. Sweet Home was sweet hell. Goddamn, it was hell. But they had to run, they had to get out of there. But anyway, they um they split out, and I think they I think she ain't upset. I ain't see uh, Paul D in like eighteen years. Um, he knew he knew the father of her children and all that, and then just a lot went down this one particular night. That's what she what Seta actually set off to leave that damn farm. You know how some people say they don't want to see no movies based on slavery and this and this and that. I get it. You know what I'm saying? To a certain degree, I get it. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to see the same old thing over and over, but you could do period pieces set around that time. And have that they have their own stories, and this is, to me, this is what they, this is what I mean. It's like it's a story, yeah, it's in that time frame, but it's slavery is not the main issue here. It's this goddamn ghost, and what it really mean. And I, I think this movie is basically about just Trump, and how how if you don't deal with it, it compounds into something. It can manifest into something more. It can definitely hinder you from living your life like you like you need to if you don't address it or try to address it. And that's what I think what happened with Seth. We come to find out that this being, this ghost, is Setta's daughter, who died. It's a daughter that's older than Denver, but she died a long time ago. And wow, and it's like, even then, as we're trying to figure this out, it's like, why is this ghost haunting her like this? What is the, the ghost seemed angry, very angry. <laughs> we find out the details of why that is. I know one day, man, all them chilling in the house or whatever, and this stranger come, well, they come back to their house, and this woman is standing there. 
She seemed distraught. She seemed out of her mind. She got bees and flies on the side of her head. Um, light skin junk, cute junk. That's all. Uh, Found the way Newton's character, beloved. That's her name. Cause they were like, "What's your name?" Is and then she said, she went in, she went into this thing. It's already, <laughs> I'm already spooked out about this woman coming to that house the way she did. She can barely talk. She's coughing up flies. I'm like, what the hell is this? And when they asked her name, it was she was like, B E L O V E D. Yo, man. I would have kicked that. She would have been saying that shit on the porch. Cause she, <laughs> I went, nah, this is too much for me. We can't have this. She need a goddamn speech therapist. We're not doing it. Seems to me, I'm a, this, this is my summation of it. Beloved seems to be, it is their sister, her sister, Denver's sister, but she is her sister. But it seems to be a culmination of a lot of, a lot of pain, regret, guilt coming from off set up. And it just manifested itself into that being. It was that deep that it came to that. Because when Seta first escaped that farm in Kentucky, I think she ended up in Ohio. I want to say where that where it where it was. I forgot. I forgot where they were. Where she ended up. She ended up in another state. But she found from some of her people's man. And although she made it safely, she got her kids with her and stuff like that. You know, like 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 it's implied throughout the movie. You know, just because you ain't got no chains on, don't mean you're not enslaved. You know what I'm saying? And that's what Seta still is, man. She's still on that damn farm. What happened was she was out in the she was out in the, in the field helping to um I don't know playing with the kids or farming or something, and them damn farmers that that she escaped, they coming up on horseback riding up, goddamn said that she snapped, she grabbed her baby she got two babies she got Denver, and goddamn beloved, uh beloved because a little older baby she can crawl and stuff but um Denver's a baby baby a serious baby, an infant um and she grabbed her two boys maybe she said run to the shed let's go to the shed. I'm like, wow, what the hell? What's going on with this? Man, when them damn slave owners, them, 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 them bastards, when they open that door in the shed to see what's going on, man, all you see, you see, you see Beloved. I don't think that was her name when she was alive, but we're gonna call it Beloved. Instead of killed her. And she was about to swing goddamn Denver into a damn wall or to a, to, a, to, a, to some wood. And the dude, one of the other dudes, the brothers, and stopped her and grabbed her. So it said it was out her goddamn mind. But you got to understand where that was coming from. But I was tripping off is the farmers, they looking at said it like, you are inhumane. You crazy, what's wrong with you, girl? It's like, and they tearing up. I'm like, okay, so they do have a heart. So these horrific things that happen on their farm, it made me wonder like, what the hell is the deal with it? So they came to get them kids because they figured they had claim. And I'm like, but, but, then again, she, that's why she killed them. She killed the baby because she won't gonna let them go back with them. So in that act, that act, although horrific, I do understand what her mind was. But for her to survive what she did, it's like worse than death. And she's like, yo, she gonna put them out of their misery quick. That's a horrible, crazy goddamn way to put them out of their misery. I got goddamn, baby, just, just drown my ass. Don't swing my head up against a goddamn wood and that. You know, don't do that. The act of what she did is, is, is. I can't imagine no other how that how that might feel, how a parent might feel like that. Just moving forward, because if they did, you plan on joining too, odds oh, are, but she never did. That. They stopped everything before it happened. The farmers went on, and that was that. But then they gotta rebuild that, they gotta build their lives up. But she was very, she was famous, she was known for that in that town. And that's why they was always looking her some type of way when they walk past the house or when they see Seth. Set, set you know what I'm saying? When they see her, when they see them, you know what I'm saying? They already know there's some history there. Everybody knows. Except goddamn Paul D. He don't know the history. The scene of the guy whole goddamn movie. Now, <laughs> Paul D. And goddamn Setup. And they've been making out throughout this whole goddamn movie. Like every chance they get. And there's a certain point where Beloved seems to be intrigued by. And it looks like she, 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 she's wanting that. She wants that. You know what I'm saying? She want to feel that. I'm like, what? What what is this man? And it, but the imagery is that provided is so damn. It's like what is going on through her head, man? You just never know sometimes. Nobody said that was a good character, man. But at some point, it looked like she hit. She was. She, I know. Uh, Paul D was sitting at the kitchen table. <laughs> Beloved sitting at the table, and Beloved looking at him, just looking right at him, like you know, she gave him. She gave him that look, like what? I'm looking at him like, oh, I know that look. What, what's up with that? And he ain't paying no mind, right? He just pushing it off. 
but something's affecting him. What is he sleeping in a different room every night instead of the bed was set up? He just, that's all he know. He's waking up in a different room. He don't know why. He's getting tired for some reason. And one day he goes to sleep out. It looked like the owl house, little shed or whatever. I'm like, what is he doing out there? Cozing up with the potatoes on the ground and stuff. But he's out there. And that's when Beloved go trailing right behind him. <laughs> I'm like, okay, where is this going? She coming down and she's spazzing out a little bit, acting weird. And he like, what are you doing here? What do you want? Yeah. And now when she pulls up her damn dress, and I want to feel it on the inside. I was like, what? But I would have felt funny about that because she's not in the right mind. She's just too damn weird. But hey, man, I guess uh, she, she she climbed on top of him. And I guess she was like, yo, I want you inside and I want you to say my name. I was like, what is, who wrote that into the script? <laughs> say your name? You supposed to say my name. But anyway, <laughs> he in there, he yelling, the blood, blood, blood. I'm like, God damn, huh? I can't tell if it's good or bad the way he going. <laughs> Sutter kind of loses her mind over this, man. The grief is eating her up. Uh, this this spirit that that, that, that that took over this somebody's woman, somebody's, somebody's body. I don't know. I don't know. It might be her. I, I, I argue it was a spirit that took over a, a real person's body. So I'm going to say it's, a, it's the body itself is, is actually her daughter. But uh, at some point, she started neglecting the home. She stopped working. And she just, she's going into this, it's like she having a mental breakdown. Dilma notices it, and she takes the steps to leave the house to get help. Shout out to the elderly women in this movie. It's like, yo, I, oh man, this, the black community is missing that, man. You know, these women are wise, respected, and they just, they've been through it like nobody's business, man. So they know about the hardships, but man, but a lot of, lot of the younger folks look up to these people. And man, I would say that's what we missing today, man. You know what I'm saying? Right now, you got great grandma in the club while doing her thing, man. <laughs> ain't really concerned about the community. There is no community as far as they're concerned. With this supernatural stuff, the thing I like about supernatural movies, oh, base movies, some of them, they know how to just leave enough mystery there to keep you guessing. Because even though this, I've seen this whole damn movie, I still can't exactly pinpoint what's up with Beloved. I can, I can assume we can all come with different type of uh, assumptions about why she there, what, what, what made her tick, what was her mission, you know what I'm saying? All that stuff, but it's like, yo, sometimes it's just better just left the way it is. It's dead ill. It's like, yo, all I know is she gone and they can live a life. And I like the way they ended the damn movie. Sutter, is, she's in the bed, she's look weak. She can barely respond, but she's talking to, um, talking to she's talking to Paul D and she's like, you know, she's gone. You know what I'm saying? Uh, beloved is gone. Like she was like, she was all I, she all I want. She was. She was everything I needed. He's like, no, you is everything you need. Letting her know that, you know, if you, even if everything they have been through was going on, you have been a, a, a inspiration to all of them. You know what I'm saying? You ran away from that goddamn farm. You established a life. You took care of your kids the best way you can. You try to protect them the best way you could. Although some would disagree with you trying to kill your kids, I understand where it was coming from. You know what I'm saying? You're doing the only thing you knew how to do. You know you could do. And even still, you stayed on there. You took care of your babies, man. And um, and you just took them hits. But sometimes them hits were just too much. You took too many hits. You know what I'm saying? It took its toll. On. That's what I think that ghost came from, man. You know what I'm saying? It's too much. It's too much of a toll. On. She done been through too much. But yeah, man. But I dig this joke, man. But love it. Man, I'm going to get this joke on Blu-ray because I will sit down and watch this again. But usually the best, the best movies I got to get at least on Blu-ray. Ain't got to go on 4K. I just need the Blu-ray. I'll be all right. But yeah, man. But y'all saw it. What did y'all thought was like some of the illest stuff y'all seen in the movie? First of all, did you like it? And let's think about Beloved. What you think she actually, what actually, where she come from? Cause remember she came there in a dress, a hat, and her feet, she looked like she ain't been walking nowhere. What you think happened, man? I don't know, it's just deep like that, it's deep. But yeah, man, that's my review of the movie Beloved. It left a hell of an impression on me. Now, I'm gonna be talking about this tonight when I go to work, man, straight up, straight up. But well, yeah, baby, y'all get back to me, man. I'm gonna do some more reviews. You got any requests? Send them to me. You know how I do. If you need me to roast somebody, send them to me. <laughs> anyway, man, peace out. Have a good time. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the deal.